First to enter the den is Annie Mitchell, an entrepreneur who's brought her product all the way from the US of A. We started this business because it's something that has always been passed down in my family, and I know that Europeans will love it as much as we do. Le mess buffalo. So far, the dragons aren't finding the product's name a particularly easy read. Ball fest hot knob pot. What are you saying, Deborah? You're now being rude. <laughs> but Annie hopes her pitch will spell success with one tycoon in particular. Peter Jones definitely has the most natural fit for us, and I'm excited to hear what he thinks about what we're doing. Hi, Dragons. My name is Annie Mitchell, and I'm the co-founder of Bottle Shot Coffee. We make cold brew coffees sold in ready-to-drink cans. I'm here today looking for 80,000 pounds in exchange for a 2% stake and help us accelerate our growth further. Consumers want convenience, but they also want it to be delicious and good for them. The problem is most canned coffees today are full of artificial flavorings, high in sugar, and low in energy. None of that is what you want from your coffee. So what's our secret? Our cold brewing process and our authentic recipes provide the perk of a delicious morning coffee without the acidity of a hot coffee. I've watched this drink go from a regional favorite into a national phenomenon in the US and I'm bringing it to Europe because I know you'll love it too. Let's taste some coffees. Cold brew coffee in a can is the offering from American entrepreneur, Annie Mitchell. In your box, we have two coffees. We have a cold brew black and one with oat milk. She's asking for 80,000 pounds in return for 2% equity in her business. Deborah Meaden is first to flesh out the coffee concept but it appears she's less than taken with the taste. Um, I've got to be honest. I don't enjoy this at all. I drink cold coffee. I make it at home and this tastes weak. I really wanted to open that and have my socks blown off. I'd be interested. Did we like it? For my palate, it felt a bit watered down. Oh, interesting. Can I make an observation? My team in New York would have cold brew on tap, and it tasted exactly like that. Yeah. And I remember going up to it one day and trying it and going, oh, what's that watery coffee? So I think in the UK, we have a different taste preference. We did wonder about European palates. So we did a blind taste test versus six others, and 100% actually chose ours. Annie bats back Deborah Meaden's concerns about her coffee, citing market research, giving her cold product a warm reception. However, it appears Tuka Suleiman is more preoccupied with financials than flavor. Four million valuation? Yes. Wow, okay, I'm expecting some amazing figures. We did 95,000 pounds in revenue last year. But what I would like to point out about today, we did 25,000 pounds last month alone. So I think that just shows you that there is uh, much more potential than the actual past year shows. So, okay, so your gross profit? Over the past 12 months was 42,000. And our loss was uh, 200,000. Okay, so what investment have you had? And, and at what valuation? So we've done two fundraises and our last one was with people who have expertise in coffee, distribution and venture capital. Of what the valuation? Four million valuation. Four million. So we are actually holding that today. So in total, how much have you raised for this business in total? A million two hundred and fifty thousand. So how did you raise that money? Did you do that on your own? I did it with my co-founder, Charlotte. And have you done something before? Uh, Charlotte, Charlotte actually has. So Charlotte created a first company that was a mobile app for dining out at restaurants. She started that in 2014 and in 2017 sold it to American Express. And what did she sell that for? Uh, a little under 15 million. The revelation of a previous eight-figure success story for the entrepreneur's business partner has given preferred investor Peter Jones plenty to ponder. And Danny's fundraising so far appears to have caught the attention of Sarah Davies. 
I couldn't really give a monkey's what the other dragons think about the taste of it because you've come in here and said you've got a board full of coffee and drinks experts who have put a fair chunk of money where their mouth is. So really it's a little bit irrelevant what we think. The industry has already given it that seal of approval. Not irrelevant what you guys think at all, but I do appreciate that compliment. Thank you. But to be blunt, what is it that you want from an investor today and here? Because you don't need the cash. You've got a board with massive experience across coffee specifically. So what are you looking for? For the actual value of helping us grow in the market. Uh, to be totally candid, I really see it as being a help us. Uh, I think it would help us. We are in, in talks with... Do you know, you're stumbling for the first time in your pitch. You have been immaculate and you are stumbling to explain exactly what you want from a dragon. Any investment I get into, I have to sit here and think, that's my role, that's what I'm doing. Because when I make an offer, I'm valuing what I can do for a business. Right. I don't know here, got no idea. This worries me. And I don't want to go into investment worried. So I'm out. Deborah Meaden can't see a place for herself in the business's boardroom and becomes the first dragon to decline a deal. And Tuka Suleiman is still struggling with the seven-figure price tag and he's placed on her business. You've come here with a ridiculous valuation. When's your year end? Our financial year end is October. OK, so what have you turned over in the last eight months? 60,000. And you've come in here with a valuation of four million. So the valuation of four million, we're projecting 750,000 pounds in revenue for this year. But you've only done 60,000 so far over the last eight months? Correct, in a year of, so yes, that is very true. Look, at the end of the day, it's very simple, Annie. Your valuation compared to the actual business, what you are doing at the, the moment, you know, just doesn't stack up. And for that reason, I'm out. Annie. I'm not convinced on exactly what you're here for. And I think because of that, it's not an investment for me today. So I'm going to thank you for the offer and then say I'm out. Three dragons have now given the entrepreneur's chilled coffee the cold shoulder. But Stephen Bartlett knows what it takes to scale a multi-million pound business and it appears he spotted some serious potential in Annie. I did want to congratulate you. Raising the amount of money that you've raised before you've got significant revenues is absolute testament to yourselves. Thank you. I really do think that's because of our drinks. I think it's because of you. Well, thank you. I'll take that too. Can you tell me a little bit about the direct-to-consumer business? We do sell online. We sell about two and a half thousand pounds per month but I do think retail will be the foundation and then that also helps us ignite online as well. I disagree with that. I think that in 2021, if you want to build a really valuable business, the best place to start, in my opinion, for this type of business, which does have direct to consumer potential, mm -hmm. is to start online, to scale that business. I'm going to tell you where I'm at. I think you're incredibly impressive. So I would completely invest in you, but I'm not prepared to invest in this business with the strategy you have. And for that reason, I'm going to say that I'm out. Annie's plans for future growth give Stephen Bartlett the jitters, and he becomes the fourth dragon to drop out. Peter Jones is the entrepreneur's last hope of investment, and also her preferred investor. Does he have a different take to the dragon on his right? You've been really impressive and you're very, very credible in the way that you've been able to raise money and go out with your proposition. And I think your strategy is right. But I think what you do need is massive scale in terms of everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I have been lucky enough to sit in this chair for such a long time. And the only reason why I haven't got grey hairs is because I dye my hair. <laughs> Same. I've been here that long. So I understand the retail, I think, better than most and I have been able to put products in the tens of millions 
into retail stores in the UK and do very good deals with people like Walmart and the Welcome Group in Asia. Now, sometimes you've got to say when you're good at something. And you know what? I don't often boast. Everybody <laughs> knows that. <coughs> oh, it's the coffee. And I might need another two or three of these cans in a minute <laughs> because I'm going to be the guy that could really help you make this absolutely enormous globally. Now, I'm going to test you today by making you an offer. OK. I'm going to offer you all of the money, but I want 10% of the company. Thank you. I so appreciate that. Um... Do you want to take a sip of your coffee and reflect? Yes. <laughs> Annie's dream of making her cold brew coffee a red-hot success becomes a potential reality thanks to an offer from Peter Jones. However, in return for the £80,000, he's seeking five times more equity than the 2% the entrepreneur wanted to give away. Is there any world where you would do it for 5%? Five? I think that's a tough ask because you want me to be motivated. I do, definitely. Five percent. I think it's too small for me to get excited. I, I just don't think that we can go higher to offer more than five percent. What about if we agree ten percent and if I get my money back within 12 months, I'll drop to five percent? I think, yeah, I think we could do that. Yes! Well done. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, well done. Annie has done it. Having secured the £80,000 and the dragon of her dreams, she leaves the den full of beans. I feel exhilarated. I also feel like this isn't really real. I'm hoping that this means we are close to being a household name. Come on, show me the love. You're peacocking, showing how beautiful you are. That's a legendary deal and you know it.